Hey guys, Trun here, and today I wanted to make a completely updated version on my Ultimate FPS Boost Guide, because although it did help a lot of people, and the video got over a million views, got like 10,000 likes, it did uh, ruin a lot of people's computers, and I did not mean for that to happen, that was never my intention for that to happen. So I was going to make this new and improved video with the best ways possible to increase your FPS in 2017. This will not ruin your computer and this will not do anything to your computer. This will just increase CSGO's FPS. It'll simply increase FPS. An insane amount though. <laughs> So for step one, let's hop right into the in-game video settings. Now this is probably the most obvious part. So the resolution, obviously if you lower the aspect ratio and lower the resolution, you're gonna get more FPS. But not even that, like say I'm at 1920 by 1080, I lower it to, to 720p, I'll get a lot more FPS. So if you guys have really low-end computers, this is definitely a recommended thing. And for the advanced video options, honestly, having them all on low is probably the way to go if you're experiencing FPS drops. But my computer can handle a lot of this, a lot of this stuff, so I, I normally just keep it on just because my computer can handle it and it's unnecessary for me not to use, to use it, you know? So for the next step in this FPS tutorial, uh, it's actually how to change your graphics card settings. Now, this is for NVIDIA users. If you do not have NVIDIA, skip this step. I do not know how to do it for AMD or for anything else. Um, however, I will leave a video tutorial of Banana Gaming, a very good YouTuber, who actually made some, some of these tutorials for uh, AMD users. So if you guys wanna go check that out. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below, along with all the other links I'm going to be mentioning on later in this video. So first of all, for NVIDIA users, you can right click and you can see NVIDIA control panel. And if that doesn't show up, just search up NVIDIA control panel and it should, it should show up. So it takes a little bit to load. Alright, so once opened up, you want to go to your 3D settings. So Let's start off with the adjust images settings. Now you click on the middle one, use the advanced 3D image settings. Now go over to manage 3D settings. Now don't change anything on the global settings. Go over to your program settings. Now here is where you have to add CSGO. So if you look for a program, you can just click add and choose a program to add. So add CSGO. And as you can see, I, I have already changed a lot of this of, of these settings. So ambient occlusion, click that to off. Uh, anisotropic filtering, off. Anti-aliasing, gamma correction, off. Anti-aliasing mode, enhance the ap application setting. Uh, setting two times, transparency off. Uh, maximum pre-rendered frames one, multi-frame sampled AA off, uh, power management power management mode prefer maximum performance of course preferred refresh rate highest available, um, texture filtering on, uh, you can you can honestly just look at this and and follow along but on negative LOD allow quality high performance, trillionaire optimization off. Threaded optimization on, triple buffering off, vertical sync off, and virtual reality, it doesn't really matter. So I just put it as one. And when you're done with that, that's all you have to do. And now now you're done. Now another another step is to actually always, always update your driver. So if you have NVIDIA, you can easily download NVIDIA GeForce Experience and go to your drivers and check for updates. Simply right on there and it'll let me know if you have the latest driver and if you don't look it up online the latest geforce driver look it up the latest amd driver try and update your drivers this will increase your fps a bunch 
Now for the next step is actually going to your launch options. Now here are the best launch options to have. I have a good amount. So I'm gonna go through a list of the ones that you, you should have. So for my launch options, uh, I have frequency, which you just do a dash and then frequency, and you set this to the maximum hertz your monitor has. So mine, mine is 144, so I do frequency 144. There's, uh, there's a little tip. And high, uh, this will start the game in high priority mode for better FPS. Uh, no joy removes the joystick support and gives free memory and FPS. No vid removes a valve introduction movie when the game starts. Threads, and set this to max, and the max number is four, and it's the number of threads you have on your, on your CPU. Now... Uh, if you guys don't know how many threads you have on your CPU, I'm sure it, you could just look it up. It, I, I don't have all the answers for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, tick rate, 128. Now, this is this is really up to you. You guys don't really need this. This is not necessary. It won't change your FPS at all. But, yeah. C, uh, plus CL underscore force re-upload. Force pre preload 1. So, plus CL underscore force preload 1. Preloads the whole map and sounds, which will increase your FPS. And then the plus mat underscore Q underscore mode 2, forcing your CPU to use multi-threaded mode. And as you can see, I, I already have all of these in here. So I will be leaving a, um, a detailed one of these in the description below. I'll have everything in the description below, so you guys don't even have to worry about it. So if you guys want to go check that and um, you'll see all of the commands. The next step is actually all of these FPS commands because these FPS commands are going to greatly increase your FPS in CSGO. Now if you guys don't know where to put these, uh, all you have to do is after downloading it, you can just copy it and go over to your config, wherever that is. And if you guys do not have a config already made, you guys can go check out this video. And that's my one of my most recent videos, and it's how to make an auto-execute config file. So after, after doing that, you can go over to your CFG in your CSGO folder, but um, I'll show you guys where to find that. So program files normally, uh, and you scroll down to Steam, then you go to Steam apps, Common, Counter-Strike, CSGO, Config, and then you'll have the auto-execute Config. And when you double-click on that, this is where you, you paste all of those commands. Uh, that's where all of your commands are actually going to be going, and yeah, those commands are going to increase your FPS. <laughs> Honestly, that's probably one of the most important parts in this video is using those FPS commands in your config. Please add those. I do recommend it. Now for another step, if you go in the description below to the CPU Core Parking uh, website, it'll bring you to a link where you can download the CPU Core Parking Manager. Now, um, this is, the, this is the, the newest version, Core Parking Manager 3. Um, so once it loads, <clears throat> oh, all right. So there's a new version, I guess. So for the system power plan, have it on high performance and then choose this little bar and bring it to a hundred percent and click apply. This will enable all of your cores in your, in your, uh, computer, which will greatly increase your FPS. So I do recommend doing this and yeah. So here, the next step is to actually disable the startup apps in your computer. Now this will increase the FPS, um, making your computer faster and it, it'll start better. Uh, so basically just run, go over to, to the search bar, search MS config, and then you'll go over to the boot options. Uh, well, go over to services options, click on hide all Microsoft services, and here is where you choose what ones you want to start up. This are all of the apps which are down here that start up and slow down your computer. Now, I, I have the necessary ones like Adobe or Intel or NVIDIA, Razer, all of those, but like Skype, I, I don't want that iPod service, like what the hell is that? Like, get out of here. Um, that, that's a no. 
And then if you also go to startup, you can open up your task manager. It, it's a easier way to, to take a look at what's what's been starting up and you can disable them easy. Uh, see what ones are enabled and see if you want them or not. Like all of these, which I, I do want all of those. So that's fine by me. Now, while you're in the system configuration, go over to boot and go to advanced options. Make sure you have the number of processors to the highest amount and checked. So, uh, yeah, and then make sure nothing else is, is over here. I normally do no GUI boot, but honestly, it, it doesn't really even matter. Um, but applying that and clicking OK, I do recommend a, a full restart after you have done so. Now, the final step is actually going to your power options in your control panel. So, search up control panel, go over... So go over to hardware and sound, go to power options, and then now make sure it is on high performance because that is where you get the most FPS in your games. So that is about it, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed this FPS tutorial. I really hope this has helped you. Uh, this honestly should help you. It should increase your FPS dramatically. And uh, I'm sorry about anybody who had trouble with my last FPS video. I know it helped a bunch of people, but it also made a bunch of people... Um, a bunch of people's FPS worse, and that is not my intention. I want you guys to have that FPS boost. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, turn on that notification bell if you're new. Get notified whenever I post videos. I will be pumping out new videos every other day now. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you guys in a couple days for the next one. And peace.